Today is new helmet day here at Paul's Collectibles. Well, it's not actually new, so today is another helmet day here at Paul's Collectibles. Let's get into this. All right, welcome to another episode of Paul's Collectibles. If you're new to the channel, it's good to have you. Thanks for stopping by and giving me a shot. Or if you're one of my subscribers or somebody who's been watching my videos for a while, you already know, I greatly appreciate having you. Thank you so much. Today, we're gonna to be talking about another full-size Star Wars helmet, the Black Series TK Stormtrooper helmet. Now, the thing with this one is that it's actually been out for quite a while, and I have another one of these. I got it like four years ago as a Christmas gift appropriately from the guys at work that I supervised and it's one of my favorite helmets and then of course with these black series helmets they go out of print and then they start to get really expensive on the secondary market well every morning while I'm eating breakfast I go through and I check all of the toy retailers and Amazon and Walmart and I just do keyword searches like black series or vintage collection or something like that just to see if something pops up most of the time nothing really excites me or there's nothing really new there but recently i found amazon had either reissued or had discovered a hidden stock of these black series stormtrooper helmets which are years old and i couldn't pass up the deal especially since they normally get really expensive like i said on the black or on the black <laughs> on the secondary market afterwards black series helmets secondary market so I thought I would go ahead and pick one up and I'll probably paint it or mod it or something or maybe just hold on to it because they're good looking helmets. But more importantly, we're going to take a look at the helmet, see how the packaging has changed over the years. And I'm going to compare it to several of the other Stormtrooper helmets I have to show you the key differences and why this one, quite frankly, is my favorite. So with that, let's get this in front of some lights and see what I'll be adding to my Star Wars helmet collection today. Okay, so here's the box. This is back when they were still using the four-sided boxes. And this one got a little crushed here, but nothing to get worried about too much. A little crushed there, but I'm not really worried about the boxes on these helmets as I usually take them out and display them. So if you've watched any of my other videos recently, the Black Series helmets come in a pretty secure package. So if you haven't seen this before, when you see this one, you'll get a kick out of this. So I've pre-cut the tape. We can pop it open and all there is is a cardboard insert on the top and then look at this the helmet is just thrown in there with no support and the other interesting thing about this is that these black series stormtrooper helmets came in three pieces so there's the dome piece the face part and the back part isn't that funny okay and then what's supposed to happen from here is you're supposed to take them out of this plastic and then it just clips together very very easily and then this dome piece just goes on top now i'm not actually going to put this one together because i want to store it until i decide what i'm going to do with it and since i may mod it or paint it it's going to be easier to paint it in pieces but let's get the actual one that i have and get it on the table and take a look and i'll show you some things okay so after you get the helmet put together this is what it looks like there's some slight cracks you can see at the top here if you look really closely you can see all the way through but most importantly, for the amount of money that you pay for these helmets, which they're usually about 90 to $120, the quality on these is just absolutely phenomenal. This is a good, hard, sturdy plastic. These teeth are three dimensional in here. So there's a recess where the black is. This feels like it might actually be metal. This is nicely detailed and painted in. These just clip right in. As we come around, the teardrops are actually three dimensional. See, sounds like a comb. And the piping on the tube here also three-dimensional and as you come around you can see where it was put together um, so if you're gonna cosplay with this you're probably not gonna be able to join the 501st or anything like that but just to have as a display piece this thing is beautiful and this is the voice changer but I never use those and as we come around to the back here the back of the headpieces are three-dimensional. Like I said, you can see a pretty good crack where the three pieces went together. Plus the battery cover on these old ones and the speaker is just really, really obvious. So once again, like I said, probably not a good cosplay piece, especially like I said, if you're going for complete screen accuracy or you're trying to join the 501st. But for what you pay, I mean, I really love that this is sculpted in, this is sculpted in, this is nice and tight rubber up here. And the lenses are a good hearty greenish, tan tint 
plastic. Now this is the one that I said I got as a gift four or five years ago and it kind of started me down the helmet collecting trail. So if you're just going to display a piece and it's going to just be things that something someone's going to see when they come over to your house for dinner or something like that, I can highly recommend this. Let's take a look at the inside of that. Now, as you can see, the helmet strapping in here is pretty rudimentary. It's only later on in these Black Series helmets where they start putting the padding up here and some of the other nicer things. Uh, I do love the fact that it has like this nose thing right here to push against your nose so it's not uncomfortable. But as far as a Stormtrooper helmet goes, this is just an awesome display piece. And I was really excited to get it from my employees. Okay, what you're looking at here is the Black Series helmet on the right and the EFX Stormtrooper TK helmet on the left. Now there's some important differences here that you can see right off the bat, but more importantly, 100 to 120, about 300, $350, depending on when or where you get this helmet. So <clears throat> first of all, these feel almost identical to the one on the Black Series helmet. The frown is a little thinner here and the painting is a little more shiny. And the lenses are greener, and this brow is thicker and lower down than on the Stormtrooper helmet from Black Series. Now, as far as the difference on the sides are concerned, these are just decals right here, as is this and is this up here. And as you can see, there's a significant difference for how the brow piece ends on this one than on this one, and I prefer it on the Black Series. And over here, the gray pieces on the side of the helmet, they seem a little plain compared to what's on the Black Series helmet, but they're outlined with that black, so that does look kind of nice. But both of them are lined down here at the bottom with rubber. And of course, it's difficult for the Black Series helmet to compete with the EFX helmet on the back. These are decals once again, whereas these are real, but there's no battery pack right here and no speaker for that silly voice changing thing. So the back of the helmet is much better. But you can still see the pieces where this was constructed, or the crack where this was constructed in multiple pieces. Okay, what we're looking at now is the Black Series TK helmet versus the Anovos Incinerator Trooper helmet. Now, I used to have an Anovos TK standard helmet, but I painted it, and this is what it looks like now. So this is gonna be a closer comparison. They're still built the same, just pretend like all of this is white and ignore the red on there. So, with the Anovos helmet, the plastic is a little yellower. It's like a creamier color as opposed to this pristine white. The grill on the Anovos helmets is huge, but the main difference is there is netting or some sort of grill work in there. And you can almost see right through the grill work through the back of the helmet, as opposed to this, which is solid. But the grays are painted just about the same. The lenses on these are more bubbly and they're grayer as opposed to the greenish tint that you get there. You can see here, this is just one whole sticker. As a matter of fact, the white is a different color white than the helmet. This is also a sticker and this is a sticker as well. And once again, this rubber piece ends kind of abruptly as compared to the Black Series. And I think I prefer the Black Series the way they ended up there. And one of the biggest changes is the earpiece. As you can see, you can actually see the screws on this one as opposed to the other two helmets that I showed you. Once again, 120 to 90 dollars this is about 350 when you purchase it and the important thing to see on this is if you look closely you see the gap in there that's because this piece the top piece and these ear pieces which also screw in down here are all separate pieces and you can take this whole helmet apart if you wanted to the backs of them once again the anovos helmet is more quote unquote screen accurate because the lines up here are all a little wonky and they don't quite match as opposed to the uniformity of the lines on the back of the Black Series helmet. Now I'm told that the Anovos helmet is one of the most screen accurate because this is actually kind of what they look like with these gaps and the screws and everything when they were putting them together for the original Star Wars movie. I don't know about these lenses though, but that's the difference between whether or not you're going for screen accurate or something that looks like probably what they were going for. So the Black Series with its three-dimensional effects and things like that is probably what they were trying to represent in the movie, but what they were able to afford and or get done is probably what is represented by the Anovos helmet here. So once again, when you buy these helmets, display or for cosplay, accuracy. Those are the things you have to take into account. And then our final comparison is going to be the Black Series on the right compared to the Sideshow Collectibles helmet, and I use helmet as a loose term, that comes on the full-size statue, which you see in the background of my videos, or on their bust. And to be perfectly honest with you, for the amount of money especially that you pay, because the statue was $8,000 by the way, 
This helmet is a very huge disappointment. You can just look at it and see the lack of detail on the chin piece down here. The very odd, I don't know, they're, they're kind of really rounded and kind of strange looking. Now this is a sturdy helmet. It probably weighs close to six or seven pounds. It's very heavy and it's very thick. Um, and you could theoretically wear this as I'll show you in a minute, but the paint here is a, it's a little weird. It just doesn't look right. The lenses are a little off. And like I said, there's like a yellowish tinge to the bottom part, but not to the top part. As you come around to the sides compared to the Black Series helmet, see this is all molded as one piece. And it's just, it's a little strange looking, not gonna lie. They show screws here, but those are just a facade because I think this whole thing is one piece. These are stickers right here as well. And once again, that ending piece on that brow is a little interesting looking if you ask me. And of course, of all the helmets, it may just be because I'm so used to seeing the crease here of all the other helmets I have, but the back of the Sideshow Collectibles helmets just looks weird because there's no, there's no line there. It's just one whole piece. And that's probably how it's supposed to be, I guess. But, and these are stickers once again. But coming around, you can just really get a good sense for how different they are. And as I mentioned, this isn't supposed to be a helmet, but as you can see, the entire thing is lined with padding. So, so that it'll stay on the mannequin's head very, very securely. Now, there is no place for you to see out of it, so you'd have to cut holes, and I'm not even sure that those lenses are see-through, but it does fit on your head. I put it on once, but it's very claustrophobic. But there you have it. A quick look at the Black Series TK Stormtrooper helmet and a comparison to some of the other helmets that I have so you can get an idea of what they look like, what their positives are, what their negatives are, especially for price. Every other helmet that I showed you was 300 or above. And this helmet is 100 to 120. Now it's a reissue and I was lucky to get it from Amazon, but there you have it. The main thing to consider, cosplay or display, and then go from there. Oh, and of course, budget. But with that, I appreciate you joining me on a quick look at these Stormtrooper helmets, and I will see you on the next video.